everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with an amazing deal for you. Yes, it is going to be great, great, great. I literally just spent 10 minutes doing this whole video. And since the light is like all up in my face and everything, I couldn't see the little counter at the bottom. And then I realized that it was 0.00. .00. How like dumb do I feel right now? Durr, okay, whatever. So um, let's get into Dollar General. Okay, if you've noticed, I haven't been shopping this week. I haven't been feeling it. I've just basically been feeling get up, go to the restroom, and get back to bed. That's pretty much been my life goals this week, okay, guys? Now, I did get on here and do a lot of videos the other night. Um, for you all, I just was not able to get out to the stores and go do anything. I just didn't have it in me, so I definitely apologize for that. Um, but I did today get ready. I drove out the 35, 40 minutes to go to the Dollar General just to do a scouting trip for you guys. I am not going to be able to shop at Dollar General tomorrow. I am going to be out of town. So... It doesn't really help me much, but it does help me knowing that you can get these freebies, okay, guys? Now, I'm just going to let you know this deal is going to end up costing you about three cents per item, which is not something I'm happy with, okay? However, there are times where we just can't get the deals we want to get. I work very hard to make sure that I get the minimal amount out of pocket, okay? It is an absolute goal for me to not only save money for my family, but for you to save money and then you to pass it forward, okay, guys? So very, very essential for me. If I can't get it to zero, I definitely take it as a personal loss. However, I can only do what I can do and what is available to me okay guys so I still think it's a great deal especially for some of the essentials that we're going to be getting and bringing into our stockpile because one of the biggest things that I hear is how can I get paper products how can I get paper products well I've got these deals to be able to start building a stock for you okay guys so that way you don't have to worry about it until the next sale rolls around okay so the one thing you're going to need when you go to shop is going to be the five off of 25 Q coupon, okay? This is not a manufacturer's coupon. This is a Dollar General coupon. It could have printed on your receipt last week or you can go on dollargeneral.com. You can sign in and you can clip that coupon to your account. Ensure that it's clipped to your account before you go shopping, okay guys? And you can check this by going to My Clip Coupons and you can see exactly what you have, all right? In addition to that, we're going to need manufacturer coupons. If you do not have the manufacturer coupons that I have, it's very, very unfortunate. You may miss out on my particular deal unless you're able to work it your way to get some other items and try to get as low as possible. Please do not go spend a lot out of pocket. The deals are always here, okay? If you miss a deal, you miss a deal. So what? We'll get it next time. It's not that serious, okay, guys? Understand, these deals keep rolling around. The last thing you're wanting to do is go waste your money, okay? Like, seriously, it's not worth it, all right? So let's get into what we're going to do today, or tomorrow, rather, to get these deals for you, okay? Yay! And also, if you ever have any questions about the videos that I plan to do during the week, please make sure that you check my Monday video. That's going to be my weekly announcement. I will announce to everyone what I'm going to do. It's not going to be a secret. You'll know what I got going on. If I add any more videos, that's just extras that I'm bringing to the table. I've been doing this Dollar General video for weeks now, and I really enjoy it, so I hope it helps. All right, so what are we going to do at Dollar General tomorrow? Number one, Dollar General goal. We have to make sure we get to $25. This is not $25 after manufacturer's coupons. This is $25 subtotal, okay? Not $24.93, not $24.97, not $24.99. It's got to be $25, okay, to be able to utilize this Dollar General coupon, okay? It is what it is. In addition, we can't be a negative after the transaction is over, okay? We need to leave ourselves with at least $5 out of pocket or above $5 to be able to utilize that $25 coupon. When I go to the register, this is how it works for me. I go in, I put in the phone number, and that's it. There's a little box that says put in your phone number. I had no established relationship with any of these cashiers. I had never shopped at Dollar General before about a month ago when I started for you guys, okay? So what's going to happen is I'm going to go in, I'm going to put in my phone number, then she's going to start beep, beep, 
beep, scanning my products and scanning my um, coupons. All my coupons were perfectly. There was not one problem, you guys, okay? So then what happens? She or he is going to, at that time, ensure that your $5 coupon came off. There's a few different problems. Number one, you didn't get to your $5 total, okay? Number two, you didn't put in your phone number. You didn't have it clipped to your card. Number three, to be sure, make sure that she or he verifies. If they don't see it, there could be a cashier problem. Say that it's in there, but the cashier's like, I don't see it, but you have a 17 cent subtotal. Well, you know that your total after the $5 is just 17 cents. So yes, it is actually in there, okay guys? So just understand that. And I've had some people telling me you can't get products for free. Girl, please, they're getting reimbursed. They're not for free. We pay them with coupons, so get over that, okay? So let's get into what we're going to do with this transaction to get your items okay so the first items and I went ahead and picked up some of these today even though they weren't free for me just because I wanted to have them to show you okay guys so number one is we're going to get the take advantage of the different paper mate deals that are available okay there are two that I want you to capitalize on the first is going to be the two count paper mate ink joy it is going to be marked down to 50 cents on sale now I want you to remember that we do have the 75 cent off coupons and this is a ink joy coupon of any pack of pens two count or higher this absolutely works we're going to buy four of these items. My store didn't have them. They're in the ad. They didn't have them in the ad right when I went in, but we verified that they're in the ad and they should be at other stores. Some regions just don't have them, okay? So anyways, um, we're going to buy four at 50 cents each, which is going to be $2. We're going to use four of the 75 cent off of one coupons. Now what's going to happen? Because you see we have a dollar overage. Now at Dollar General, something I didn't know before, I verified this with the general manager, is that any overages can be applied to the remainder of the transaction. It's like Rite Aid though. You're not going to get money back, guys. You know what I mean? So you need to use those overages strategically to reduce your out-of-pocket, okay? So that's what we're going to do with that so we already know we have a dollar overage going in with this all right the next item we're going to get so remember four of the paper make ink joy those are the two counter higher the expiration date on that coupon we got a while it's 924 that coupon came out smart source 731 once again smart source 731 guys the next coupon an item we're going to get is going to be the paper mate Wright Brothers four count pencils and there also is the alternative for the pens this coupon will work okay guys so this coupon is for 55 cents however the items are on sale for 50 cents each we're going to buy a maximum of four if you're wondering why we're not doing 10 it's because you can only use four identical coupons per transaction okay I understand that it says per purchase but that's per item purchased and then if you continue to read per transaction for per transaction okay guys that's how that reads if you're unfamiliar with the coupon okay so we're buying four at 50 cents which is two dollars and we're going to end up using four of the 55 cent coupons this is going to create a 20 cent overage okay guys which we're going to apply to the remainder of our transaction thus far we're a dollar and 20 cents in overages very very great start Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do, you may think this is redundant. I can never have enough toilet paper, okay, guys? Period. We got to use it. And if you don't like this toilet paper, you got to understand as a couponer, you can't be brand specific all the time. This cleans just as well as something else cleans. If not, you can put your nasty behind in the shower after you clean off, okay, guys? It works. And if not, please donate it, okay, guys? Let's just do what we do. Okay, so we're going to purchase um, four of these right here understand these are one dollar okay these are in the dollar section not in the regular toilet paper section okay all the way over so we're going to buy four of these we do have coupons that were available that is a one off of two coupon okay so excuse me yeah one off of two coupon this is the coupon that said any it wasn't the larger size the six count it was the one off of two alternatively if you have the 45 cent off of one you can use the 45 cent off of one okay guys I've got the two off of one it's a better deal for me if you have the two off of one use this one okay so anyways the expiration date is 823 we need to use these coupons now okay so this came out red plum 724 once again red plum 724 we are buying four packs of these we're going to use two of the one dollar off of two Q 
coupons. If you're wondering about the last Papermate coupons, they came out at the same time with the other Papermate. I didn't think to re mention it, but yes, Smart Source 731. And this one right here, Red Plum 724. We're buying four using two of the $1 coupons. This is creating a $2 expense, but we got it covered. We ain't worried about it. The next thing I want you to get is going to be the Crest, or excuse me, not the Crest, the Coast Soap, okay? This Coast Soap, as you can see, it is a three count. It has to be the three count. Mmm, it can't be. Well, this smells good, too. Mmm. Anyways, the Coast Soap right here is the three count. You have to get this one. The reason is because of the coupon limitation. We're going to buy three Coast Soaps, okay? These are $1.65 each. We're going to use three of the one dollar off of one that seems like a very high value coupon however it absolutely includes the zest and the coast three count or higher don't get the zest it costs a lot more we're wanting to minimize our out-of-pocket as i said this right here can clean up what this right here doesn't so let's not get brand specific okay so this one right here came out 731 smart source once again we're buying three of these for a dollar 65 using three of the one dollar coupons they came out smart source 731 2016 obviously i don't know why i'm saying that but anyways good deal there the next thing we're going to get is going to be the asper cream i like asper cream here because this is awesome okay it doesn't expire for like two years so this is a great shelf life product for you to have you can always donate these to anybody i think they work relatively well um personally so i like these so we're going to buy four of the asper cream they're two dollars and fifty cents each we're going to use four of the two dollar off of one coupons this right here has a long out expiration date so we ain't worried about it but this um came out in 731 um red plum 731 okay guys once again four of these are 250 each that's going to bring up our total by ten dollars it's essential to get our total to 25 okay we're using four of the two dollar off coupons these came out red plum 731 okay good deal all right, the last thing we're going to get here um, is going to be the Clairol Bals Balsam, Balsam, I don't know. This right here, this hair dye, and y'all know I got to dye my hair, right? It is terrible. I know it's bad. I got on these leads and everything, and I'm not dying it right now, so it's going to be what it's going to be. Anyways, so this right here, the Clairol um, Balsam color. If you don't like this, you can always donate it. There's always somebody who would need this product in addition. I mean, we ain't got to be bougie. We can try out something, right? There's always toner to fix it, so hey. Anyway, so yes, we are going to buy um, one of these that is going to be $3, okay? We are going to use the $2 off of one coupon. There is a 5 off of 2. There is another one. We've got to use the $2 off of one, which does not specify that you cannot use it with this product, okay? So once again, we're going to get the $3 product, use the one $2 off of one. This came out in Procter & Gamble, eight fourteen. okay guys? So at this point, um, remember, we did have an overage starting out of $1.20. Our total before any coupons and overages is going to be $25.95, okay? Now... We have a $5 off Dollar General coupon. That's the reason we're shopping at Dollar General. That's going to immediately <clears throat> bring our total down to $20.95, okay? So we also have $20.20 in manufacturer's coupons. That is going to leave us with a subtotal of $0.75 cents for everything we've got. And that is like three cents per item. Very, very good. If you did not have the one dollar off of two coupons for the toilet paper, it's going to bring you to 95 cents, which is still a great deal considering you're getting four packs of toilet paper, you're getting one pack of hair dye, you are getting four um, pain relief creams here, you are getting three things of soap three counts in addition you're getting four packs of pens and four packs of pencils that's crazy guys so i really hope you enjoyed this video 
great great deals there you go if you have to go back and see the actual expert uh, the actual dates of the coupons they are there for you I may actually include where I got all the coupons from just to make it easier for you guys thank you so much I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can do a great deal tomorrow bye guys I'm going to New Hampshire yay bye guys <laughs>